Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Darcy Taylor from Leaf Mobile. How are you today? Very good. And yourself? Such a pleasure to meet you. And you kind of dropped out of the sky. I, I talked to all my columnists. They're all, yeah, we know about Leaf Mobile. I, I'm like the only one that didn't know about you. Yeah, we're the uh, biggest company that uh, no one's heard about. So uh, we're hoping that we can uh, have that change in, in a very short future. Well, I can definitely see why. You, you seem to be hitting one, knocking one milestone out of the ballpark after another. I mean, Dean's column this last week says that uh, in the first two weeks of February, this company closed a transformative $159 million acquisition of Eastside Games, a leading Canadian publisher and developer of mobile games. You raised $23 million to finance the acquisition. Uh, and graduated from the Venture Exchange to the TSX. So how about you tell us what you think is most exciting today for you? Because that doesn't include the four additional gaming studios you've just uh, signed partnerships with. Yeah, well, we've had a very, very busy spring. And in fact, it's been a busy uh, uh, two years since we uh, started this journey. And uh, how would I say the thing that most exciting me, obviously the, the market specifically, uh, the mobile gaming market, uh, uh, we like to say mobile's eating the world and, and then mobile gaming is eating, eating mobile specifically. Uh, if you look at how people are using their phone, um, majority of them are being entertained by, uh, by mobile games on their, on their phone. So incredible tailwind and incredible upside uh, market potential uh, for that uh, that uh, distribution of of our product. Uh, on top of that, obviously, we have a, a very robust portfolio of games. Currently, uh, ten, but in the next uh, 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 12, uh, 12 months, we'll be almost doubling that portfolio, introducing uh, seven new um, uh, seven new games. Uh, into the uh, into the uh, uh, into the market, and then uh, the last piece, uh, and certainly what we feel is the the blue sky opportunity is our Idle Kit platform, uh, which is we like to say a, a distributed growth platform that allows um, uh, I'll say professional developers to develop uh, mobile games uh, with improved economics, uh, which is primarily allows them to build games faster. At a, at a a better uh, a better um, uh, cost, and then with our proven monetization uh, um, engine, it uh, allows them to come out the uh, out the exit of the game uh, with some confidence in 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 the game being a success. So it sort of de-risks the the full uh, life cycle of a game. I was reading your most recent news release, and and your sell line, you know, is that you're a, you're 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 working towards becoming a leading free to play mobile game group. Now, I, I think you're really hitting the uh, the nail on the head with that free. I, so, how then investors out there are going? Okay, so they're offering these free games. How are you going to make revenue then? What's the revenue angle? Yeah, so we we have two major revenue streams uh, in uh, two of our three growth pillars. Uh, if we look at our, our product and portfolio in simple words, games, our games are, are free to play, but we derive revenue from them uh, from in-app purchases. So people purchasing elements in the game that either improve the gameplay or allow them to accelerate gameplay or add you know, characters and skins. And then the second piece is ad generated revenue uh, within our games and uh, the, the player clicks on uh, on those ads and it allows them to either unlock elements within the game or improve the gameplay. So those are our two main drivers of revenue uh, within our specific game portfolio. And then within our, um, our distributed um, uh, software technology, Idle Kit, uh, we make uh, a royalty uh, and a, a fee, which is, I would argue is a SaaS-based element uh, from the uh, developers that are using our platform um, ac across the um, uh, development uh, landscape. Of course, I'd like everybody at Investor Intel to take a look at not only Darcy's background on LinkedIn, but your entire team. You have quite the management team. Your CFO alone looks like another entrepreneur that's got a lot of great ideas. Yeah, I would put the pedigree of our management team as well as our board, uh, you know, against anyone else in the in the free to play market. Um, you know, we most recently have been sort of building that next uh, structure level for us to 
to continue to grow, bringing on uh, Jim McCallum, uh, our recent CFO hire, uh, who has extensive background, uh, not only in tech from Cisco, but also in his M&A background with Westport, uh, working across uh, multiple geographies and, and recognition of revenue, which is, is tremendously important uh, for us. As well as um, obviously uh, Jason Bailey joining from Eastside Games, who's uh, you know a legend, a pioneer in the in the gaming space. To have him on board, uh, looking after our, uh, I'll say, as a chief revenue officer, is uh, absolutely a joy every day to to sort of sit and pick his brain. And then, additionally, uh, the the one I'd like to highlight uh, uh, on top of that is Birgit Troy, uh, who's joined us from the Constellation Group. Um, uh, you know, M and A expert uh, from uh, Valaris, which is their uh, constellation's biggest M and A angle. Uh, just a you know true professional, and the fact that to have her joining us uh, for the first time uh, as as a external board member uh, fr- from her group is just uh, you know a, a true win for, from from our side. Well, I dare I ask you what shareholders should anticipate the next leaf be in, say, the next two weeks since you're putting news out so frequently? Yeah, so I think that some exciting uh, data points or catalysts is that you're going to see us report our full year uh, 2020 results um, at the end of April, which will be quickly followed with our Q1 uh, results uh, mid-May. So I know a lot of investors have been asking, you know, how how is the trends, you know, is the momentum going to continue? So uh, I think uh, that'll be an exciting time. And then on top of it, uh, obviously, we've announced some uh, big partnerships uh, for our Idle Kit platform. But what we haven't announced uh, with some of those partnerships is the the tier A uh, IP that will be associated with it. So uh, I think uh, everyone should sit, stay tuned for some of the names uh, that will be uh, uh, joining our, our list uh, of, uh, of, of top tier uh, properties such as RuPaul, uh, who we just uh, announced in early March. So we just think we're just uh, going from um, strength to strength at this moment. I'll tell you, Darcy, it's a real pleasure to meet you today, and we look forward to regular updates. Thank you so much for introducing the Investor Intel audience to Leaf Mobile. Uh, Thank you, and stay safe.